how's it going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel and welcome back to Takanyo Emergent Biopark in Jurassic World Evolution, a project where we're aiming to build a biologically accurate dinosaur park and preserve with the use of mods. In today's episode, we are going to be adding in a little habitat for some Sargon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm gonna go with that. Fingers crossed I'm saying it okay, but we'll see. <laughs> So Salgan are little dromaeosaurs, the mods um, for this specific one is made by Nenolacensis. In fact, Salgan is, um, I believe, Mongolian in nature. And I remember actually first learning about this dinosaur um, back when I used to play Zoo Tycoon 2, like way back in the day, like back when I was like in my very early, early teens. Um, yeah, it was found in the Gobi Desert, so similar location to where Velociraptor would have been found. And um, it's closely related as well. Also closely related to Linhiraptor, which is a, a Chinese dromaeosaurid. In kind of the uh, same habitat, you would have also probably seen um, things like Protoceratops, Shuvu... <laughs> this time, so I can never pronounce the name right. Shu Shuvuya? It's a small uh, alvasaurid. So alvasaurids are really odd dinosaurs. Those specific ones have like really short, powerful forelimbs. Um, that have one big claw on the end, so they really use for digging and like probably looking at termite mounds and stuff like that. So they were hyper specialized. But yeah, Sargon itself is a pretty, uh, I would say like a stock standard dromaeosaur almost, but of course they're all very unique in their own ways. These guys could have probably gone up to about six feet long, so relatively chunky, very, very similar to what um, Velociraptor would have been like essentially. It's a beautiful mod by Nano Census. Nice to have more smaller dinosaurs in the park. It's even based off the homolocephaly, so it's a really unique size, very different from the other dromaeosaurs. It's actually a lot closer to what um, the size of a Velociraptor and similar animals would have been like. So it's nice to have that size bracket occupied, and it fits this little habitat space here, which I've been meaning to fill for ages. It fits it really well, I think, and I'm very happy to have it in the park. Sorry for having such a short episode today. I, did, I just didn't have an awful lot of time this week. I've, I know I've been saying that a lot recently. It's just a really busy period in my life at the moment. But yeah, um, I still think uh, the park's coming along nicely. We still have maybe a few more habitats to go. Maybe one or two, really, actually. We're pretty much almost out of space. So almost time to wrap up this park. Probably one more episode with one more habitat. And then we'll have a little tour of the full park. And we'll, you know, do an episode on that. And then probably... Yeah, we'll see what we end up doing next. I do like how this habitat ends up looking. It's, uh, of course, by this hillside. People can view it either from the bottom or from the top. I just cannot stress enough how amazing the no clip mod is. It just allows you to clip everything together in really interesting ways and create some really cool environments. I try to stick with the more uh, kind of sandy, arid vibe that we've given the other dromaeosaurs. So the ones we did for the Deinonychus and the Velociraptor early in the park using a lot of those um, kind of like Triassic looking plants, which I can't remember what they're called, but you see them on screen now by, uh, I believe they were by Danny Bob. Really great trees, very prehistoric looking. I uh, cannot pronounce that for the life of me, but it's a great plant. I think they look really good. They're like monkey puzzle looking almost. I, I now love monkey puzzle trees. They're like my favorite trees. You know, very prehistoric looking, just very cool. Um, But yeah, like I said, an incredibly short video today. So sorry about that. I hope it's nice nonetheless. Oh, I also really love these plants, these kind of lower, lower lying ferns. Um, they're really, really nice. Again, very uh, almost Triassic feeling, but I think it works really well here. Adding in some high feeders. Again, um, because it's based on the homolocephaly, I couldn't remember whether it was based off the carnivore or the herbivore feeder. So I just put in both and I uh, hit them around with a few rocks. Again, no clip mod. Excellent for this sort of stuff. You can just place down a rock and hide your feeders. Um, just so it looks all right. But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, <laughs> so sorry for such a short episode. Hope it was all right nonetheless. I, I think I still got a nice habitat in and I think it's, uh, it's still a nice way to just you know, spend a, a few minutes just enjoying what we've built here. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Do like the video if you did like today's video. Do subscribe for more Jurassic World Evolution content. Um, and always, and as always, I will uh, see you all in the next video. Bye guys!